What is up, guys? We're taking a look at 161 and 159 East Dublin Granville Road, which ironically is Route 161. So you could be 161, 161, which is kind of funny. Anyway, it's a very large duplex, um, beautifully redone. And most importantly, it is four bed two and a half bath per side and it has a double ensuite in each unit so you could theoretically do a rent by the room situation and up your revenue uh, also a great idea would be a furnished rental the overall location is really pristine it's right in like downtown worthington this is like the main drag on high street of worthington uh, there's some new breweries and things up north here this is walking distance to everything that you'd want to get to in Worthington. A uh, quick bike ride down the hill to the pathway here um, to go downtown. Easy access to one to uh, Route 71 and 270. Really, really prime location. Like if you want to be in Worthington, this is like the Worthington of Worthington's really fantastic location. So um, the argument here is not great for a pure investment property. You could definitely make it work, but the person who really is going to find value in this property is probably someone who's looking to live in it, house hack it, and just reduce their monthly um, expenditures while living in a gorgeous area and a gorgeous home in a great school district. So in general, what I like to illustrate is kind of what is the housing market in general like in this area. So this is Worthington, Ohio. I just pulled up realtor.com. Nothing fancy. You can do this at home too. This is our listing here. Um, this is actually going to be open later this week. Maybe we'll check that out. That'd be kind of cool. Um, and then this one just went contingent at 615. Now this is closer to the main drag. So there's some prime kind of numbers there or, or you get kind of some prime benefit um this was on market for 19 days it went contingent you can see it's quite a bit more dated um than the one we were looking at um but still nice still high end like commercial everything really beautiful um home like clearly well cared for great house uh sold or, or rather is in contract for somewhere around 615 so if we know that as a, our payment we can see if we do a standard kind of mortgage and everything our payment's going to be about forty two hundred dollars a month with a 30-year loan if we were to assume that we could get thirty five hundred dollars a month in rent Excuse me. If we could assume that we get $3,500 a month in rent and in income, either via a uh, long term rental, a furnished medium term rental, uh, rent by the room situation, whatever it was, if we can get our rents up to $3,500, then we can essentially live in uh, an area or in a home that is equivalent, because this is three bed, three and a half bath. So we could actually move to four bed. I guess we go down to two and a half baths. Um, and what is our, let's see what the heck our square footage is here. I'm trying to find our square footage, I'm sorry. 5,920 square feet. So each unit's 20, almost 3,000 square feet. So each unit, you're actually getting a larger home than this. Um, to live in. So instead of buying this home to live in this area, you could buy the duplex, save yourself a thousand dollars a month, and get almost twice as much living space right down the block. So that's the real argument to me is if you're someone who's looking in the Worthington area and you want to be in Worthington schools and you're shopping in these six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar price points in Worthington, there will be some, you know financial things to do with your lender and make sure that you qualify but in general you're getting a larger bang for your buck and you're getting two units which now you can leave and have tenants continue to pay down your asset and pay down your debt on your asset um that's in one of the prime locations in the entire city of columbus so um in general i really i like this deal like i said if we go back and we do this purely um from an investment standpoint, like let's say we did, uh, let's say you get seven grand a month somehow in rent from this thing, right? They're still going to lose like 200 bucks. Uh, 
Now, this includes quite a bit of expenses. We've got $7,200 of expenses here. Uh, our mortgage and everything is like $4,500. Uh, and our variable expenses are about $1,000 because we have such a high rent. We're saying that we're going to have you know, 15 20% of rent set aside for expenses and for things that pop up. So that number gets pretty high pretty quick. Uh, but yeah, in general, like $350 a month for vacancy, maintenance, and CapEx is what you should be putting aside. That equates to $1,000 a month. So it gets quite expensive. If you don't really account for those, you're theoretically making like a thousand bucks but like i said more so the value here is that you're going to have a um a net if you live here if we go back to only the 3500 dollars a month if we do 3500 dollars a month and let's just assume let's just assume you don't put any money aside theoretically you will you should and you will but just for the theory's sake in the numbers we're going to say you don't put any money aside it's just purely reduction to your living expenses so now your monthly payment is 2666 a month whereas if you went and bought this thing remember we talked about it you're at $4200 a month so if you go buy the duplex it's a little more rent out the one side your net mortgage that you're going to have to pay is $2,600, almost $2, $2,400-ish, $2,800 a month less than buying this house in your monthly payment. So that's the real value to this house hack. It's a gorgeous property. Like I said, it's open on Wednesday, so I'm probably going to go check it out. If for some reason um, you like the property, if for some reason, if you like the property, if you like what we looked at here, if you like the numbers we did, uh, shoot me an email. Um, I've got my address down below. Always welcome anybody to reach out. And if you're looking at a particular property or you'd like an input on a property, please let me know. Happy to um, give my opinion. And additionally, any um, PDFs or any reports that you've seen here today, happy to provide those. Just let me know um, what you'd like to see. Uh, all in all, have a great rest of your Monday and uh, kick some ass out there. See you guys later.